Welcome to Coffee Break, 5 Minutes with God, 5 Minutes in the Word of God, 5 Minutes Designed to Taste and See that the Lord is Good. My name is Michael Moret. reading today Romans 11, verse 7, What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Those who try hard to be saved by doing good deeds, religious works, which is what Israel specialized in, they don't attain it. They don't get that salvation. They fail. That's what God is saying here. And it doesn't matter. Take your pick. There are multitudes of ways of trying to earn your way to heaven. Israel, for Israel, was the man-made religious rules and regulations that they came up with that superseded the word of God, certainly contradicted faith in Jesus Christ. And they failed. They died and went to hell. They still do without Christ. And so does everybody else who dies without Christ. But there's a multitude of ways of trying to earn your way to heaven, but you're going to fail. You won't obtain it. Many people love to think that they're good enough and that God will be so impressed with their religious activity especially or maybe their good works, their charitable works, that he will just have to save them. I mean, God just adores them. Those people are impressed with themselves. So they think that God is impressed with them. Pride makes their hearts hard to the point where they could never dream of acknowledging that they are depraved sinners in need of a Savior. No, no way. They would never admit that in a million years, so they die and they burn in hell forever. Because sin, the sin of pride is number one on God's hate list in the Bible. It's true. Eight. According as it is written, God hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. When a person despises the truth, God will eventually blind them spiritually so that they can't even recognize the truth anymore. I didn't say God blinds the hearts of people so that they can't see truth if they want to. No. People who continually reject truth, continually harden their heart against the truth of God's word, will eventually get to the point where they can no longer see truth. God then blinds them to the truth that they hated. Rejecting the truth leads to not recognizing the truth. That's just a natural consequence of it. That's why it is so very dangerous to reject the truth that you know is truth. Don't say, well, I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. I believe that he died on the cross to pay for my sin. I know that's true, but I don't want to believe it, so I'm just going to pretend that it's not true. And you pretend and you pretend and you pretend because you don't want to repent. And all of a sudden you wake up one day and you no longer even believe it. Your heart is hard. Then you're dead. Okay, study all God's word with me at thebibleversebyverse.com. Choose, click, and listen from four complete series going through the whole Bible verse by verse. If you'd like to be a part of Scripture verse by verse, you can be by praying for me and God's word. And when you take a break from studying with me at the Bible, verse by verse dot com, go to the front page, click the donate button, and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead, because that also makes you a part of this ministry. Until next time, Michael Moret for Scripture Verse by Verse. So long, everyone.